Hello students, uh, here I am going to discuss one of the important communication systems question uh, which is given in gate 2013 for 2 marks and this question is about finding entropy of a random variable. So let's read the question. So let u and v be two independent and identically distributed random variables. So u and v here are both are independent to each other at the same time both are identically distributed random variables and such that probability of u equals to plus 1 and u equals to minus 1 equals to 1 by 2. So random variable u takes the values of either plus 1 or minus 1 with equal probability. Then we have to find the entropy okay h of u plus v we have to find in bits. So generally the units of entropy we take as bits per symbol but whenever uh, the question is like find the entropy of a random variable so generally okay, they are mentioning the units of entropy as bits only so it doesn't make any difference okay even he mentioned entropy find entropy in just bits or bits per symbol that is all of um, okay that is altogether same only so no difference so that is the same entropy what we know so we have to find here okay so whenever the question is once again i'm saying whenever the question is about find the entropy of a random variable okay so whether mentioned units are bits or bits per symbol so both are going to be same only the same entropy only you have to understand yes so here we have to find entropy of the random variable u plus v we have to find out here u can be plus one or minus one with equal probability here because u and v both are identical we can understand that v also can be plus 1 or minus 1 with equal probability okay so yes here what we can understand as yes here v also can be plus 1 or minus 1 with equal probability you can understand both are identical no? and at the same time both are independent independent means if u value is u value if at all plus one then what v value will be v can be plus one or minus one that v value nowhere depends on u value so both are independent okay fine now uh, let's find what are the values possible for u plus v first let's find that okay so here yeah u plus v we have to find what are the values possible for u plus v let's find out okay so here in adding u and v okay what u value can be u can be plus one or minus one v also can be plus one or minus one so here let's take different combinations possible for u and v in adding u and v so what are the different combinations possible for u and v let's see that so yes one possible combination is u is plus one v also plus one okay another combination is u is plus one v is minus one the another combination is u minus one v plus one another combination is u minus one v minus one so in adding u and v the different combinations possible for u and v will be like this Okay, so for this combination of u and v, u plus v will be plus 2 here and here is 0 and this is also 0 and minus 2. And this u plus v, I uh, am denoting with the let x here. Okay, now we have to find the entropy of x we have to find out. Entropy of u plus v we have to find out. So, so what are the corresponding probabilities also this is? let's see so to find the entropy we need the corresponding probabilities also yes so what is the probability of x this is yes yes um, what is the probability of u plus v is plus 2 here so for u plus v to be plus 2 u should be plus 2 and v should be uh, u should be plus 1 and v should be plus 1 what is the probability of u is equals plus 1 1 by 2 and v also should be plus 1. So what is the probability of v is plus 1? One? 1 by 2. This is 1 by 4. 
So to get u plus v plus 2, u should be plus 1 and v should be plus 1 and means multiplication. Yes, because u and v both are independent that is given in the question. Okay. So what is the probability of occurrence of two independent events simultaneously means multiplication. Multiplication. Now here also, what is the probability of u plus v 0? So for u to be plus 1, 1 by 2. And what is the probability of v is minus 1 that is 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4 and here also this is 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 okay now let's summarize this okay, let me summarize this yeah. random variable i'm denoting with x the values possible for x i'm denoting with small x the values possible for random variable generally we denote with small x small letter we denote with and in finding the entropy of a random variable the values possible for random variable should not be repeated just you have to see what are the different values possible for x we have to see okay so i'm finding entropy of u plus v entropy of x means okay about x value about x value what is the uncertainty associated we are finding okay about x value x value 0 hoga ya plus 2 hoga minus 2 hoga so to specify x value, what is the uncertainty associated is what we are finding. So, for this reason, whenever you are finding entropy of a random variable, the values possible for random variable should not be repeated like this, should not be repeated. Just you have to mention what are the different values possible for the random variable, you have to take those different values possible. So, what are the different values possible for x here? This is minus 2, 0, plus 2. Okay. And to take these values, what is the probability of x equals to x? Okay, I'm taking what are the corresponding probabilities. So, what is the probability of x is minus 2? x is minus 2, 1 by 4. What is the probability of x equals to 0? So, to get x value 0, okay, x value 0, okay, two different combinations will work. So this combination will work and this combination also will work to get this x value 0 okay so so all together uh, what is the probability of x equals 0 means i can say 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 1 by 2 so 50 percent chances for x value to be equals to 0 okay and what are the chances for x value is plus 2 i can say 1 by 4 okay so 25 percent chances for x value to be minus 2 and 2 and for x value to be 0, 50 percent chances. Yes. Now you have to find entropy of u plus v. Yes, no? This is. I can simply mention this as entropy of x. And to find the entropy, we just need the probabilities. That's it. Okay. The summation i. Px of xi log 1 upon Px of xi bits because he is expecting entropy in bits the units the base for the logarithm will be 2 okay yes so it will be so to find the entropy we just need the probabilities that's it so it is 1 by 4 log 4 base 2 plus 1 by 2 log 2 base 2 plus 1 by 4 log 4 base 2. So this is 1 by 4 times 2. Log 4 base 2 is 2. This log 2 base 2 is 1. Log 4 base 2 is 2. So from this, it will be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. This is 3 by 2. So it is the entropy what you got. So which answer is going to be correct is the answer. Answer is 3 by 2. So option C will be correct. So guys, uh, whenever the question is about finding the entropy of a random variable, first you have to see what are the different values possible for that random variable we have to see. Okay. And to take those values, what probabilities will be? And based on those probabilities, yes, we have to find the entropy. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.